Hi, and welcome to another episode. Do you think that it's possible to save money even on a wedding day? Or whilst planning towards your wedding? I know it would sound surprising because weddings take a lot of money. But yes, you can. But of course, uh, this is not to say that I'm the one advising you what to do on your wedding day. You can choose to plan the way you want it based on your own financial strength. But if you want to save some money, I will recommend you do this. Uh, what are we talking about? Simply this. Don't schedule your traditional marriage for a different day from the wedding. So, example, you fix your traditional marriage on a Thursday or a Friday, then you have your wedding on the Saturday. I know there are times people have the, the argument that they'll be tired when they have to do everything on the single day. But when you separate them, what happens is that you have to feed the people who came either on the Thursday or the Friday. You have to provide food, you have to provide water, you have to provide breakfast. If it's family members who came from afar, probably you, you, you supported with transportation. All those things will go into the Friday. If it's a Friday where some of them will have to wait for the wedding on Saturday, you have to find a place for them to sleep. All these things are little, little costs that will eat into your finances. So if it's possible, push everything onto Saturday. Start early, have the ceremony very early. Then, if you can, you have the wedding after. There are instances where it's difficult because the, 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 the father of the bride will insist that it should be done where he is. I've had an instance where I had to go to Doma Hinkro for a traditional marriage and come to Accra for the wedding. I mean, you can imagine, you know, at the time we we're not charging a lot. So, hi, Miss Archa. So, yes, at the time we we're not charging much. So, they, they didn't feel it at the time where there wasn't a lot of charges on them for photography. But in, in current, current times, people will charge you for the two. They will charge you for doing something, they will charge you for covering that particular event on a different day and charge you for having the wedding again, you know, on a different day or venue. So to, in order to save yourself where the photographer comes on a, on a single day and covers once and you feed the family members also once because if you do it on a Friday you feed them, when you do it on the Saturday as well you feed them plus other friends and family who may come. So consider this, if, if the venue is closer for you, but if you can afford it, it's your money. Right, so thank you for watching this episode. I'll see you next time.